So today we're going to be continuing the saga of the piston-driven AR in Adam's Arms P3. This AR beat out the AK in every single test. In today's video, how would a piston gun versus a DI gun do in that ex same exact test? So I decided to do a kind of unique torture test putting this piston-driven AR versus in the Daniel Defense Block 2 or M4A1. Now we're just going to go ahead and cover these with sand. And not gonna cover the muzzle. Get it all in there. All right. all right, so first with a P3, first sand test. Okay, no issue. Now with the block two. Okay, so we just got done with the sand test. Now we're gonna move on to the mud test. Adam's Arms P3, so. He didn't use real Ukrainian trench mud. All right, let's go ahead and try it out. Man, P3 don't give a fuck. Now let's try it out with the dust cover open. All right, right on the bolt carrier. We'll see how both of these perform. All right. Didn't give a fuck. Let's see how the block two does. Don't let me down, baby! Oh! What the hell happened? Come on now. Completely, um, both of these guns, the P3 did perform the best. It did survive that second bout with the mud. There's something to be said about the piston-driven AR with it not having to be cleaned as much as a DI gun just due to you know not as much gas coming back into the bolt carrier. Maybe a piston AR is a better bet and again this did survive longer in this mud test than this rifle.